What is up guys, it's your favourite Scotsman Ryan here and a load of you have been reaching out to me on Twitter asking for a recommendation for a good budget case. So I went ahead and reached out to Corsair and they have sent along their Spec M2 which is an MATX case costing as little as £45 here in the UK and around $60 in the US so it definitely won't blow the bank. Corsair's aim with this case is to deliver something that budget gamers can utilise and it will give them everything they need. So let's see if it lives up to it. So first of all, let's take a look at the design. I was surprised when I opened this up as it didn't look as cheap as I was expecting. On the front we have a nice grill and just above that you will find an LED strip that does light up white when the PC is powered on. On the left hand side we have a nice windowed panel for viewing your build and on the right all we have is a solid piece of metal and up top you will find one USB 2.0 and one USB 3.0 along with your audio connectors and power reset buttons. So obviously as this is a budget case you are only getting that one USB 3.0 as more expensive cases usually have three and some even have four so it's just a sacrifice that you are going to have to make with a budget case. So if we go ahead and remove the front panel you will see that Corsair has included one 120mm LED fan that lights up blue if that is your thing. There is space up front for two 120mm fans or you can go ahead and mount a radiator or cooler like the Corsair H100i version 2 with ease. The front panel also has a dust filter but it is part of the panel so it is not as easy to clean as some. As Corsair have only included one fan with this case, you will need to pick yourself up at least one more 120mm fan for the rear exhaust to get the heat out of the case. Optionally, you can add another two up top if that is your thing, but please do bear in mind you cannot mount a radiator up here and also there is no dust filter up here included. On the bottom of the case however, you will also find another dust filter for the power supply, but this time it is removable and easy to clean. So if we go ahead and remove the side panel, you can see that inside the case there is plenty of room to build and you will be able to fit pretty much anything in here that you could need. The drive bay is removable if you wish, but it can support up to two 3.5 inch drives utilising the quick release brackets supplied. You will have to be careful when choosing your power supply as you will not be able to fit anything too large in here without removing the drive cage first. Taking a look at the rear, there is definitely ample space for cable management and plenty of points for tie wrapping everything up. We do have space in the rear for two SSDs and these can be mounted on the rear panel itself. What I will say though is utilising these SSD mounts is a bit fiddly as you have to hold it with one hand on the rear while trying to screw it in and it can be a bit of a pain and it's definitely not as good as the quick release SSD bays that we have seen with other Corsair's cases. So building in this case posed no problems at all and honestly the build was pretty easy and as you can see I think it looks pretty good. I have watched many reviews on this case where people have complained that when you use a non-modular power supply that it's very hard to get all the cables looking nice on the rear and I would honestly have to say that that is not the case. I found it pretty easy to route the cables and really if you take your time and just plan out where the cables are going you will have no issues and as I said before there is plenty of tie down points for the cables in the rear so honestly if you take your time no trouble. So as you can see I am utilising the Cooler Master Hyper TX3 for cooling the CPU and if you are going to use a cooler like this just make sure that it is not too tall as it might not fit in the case but if you look up the specifications it tells you exactly what size of cooler will fit in here or alternatively you can use PC part picker but as I mentioned before if you plan on using like a Corsair H100i version 2 it will fit in the front with no trouble at all and you can even put it in push pull configuration with ease. Okay, so overall I would say that the Corsair Spec M2 is a pretty awesome budget case. It looks pretty good, it's pretty easy to build in and honestly it offers all the features most gamers will need without going too crazy. If you are looking for a case that is not going to blow the bank then I would definitely consider checking this out. If you want to find out more about the Corsair Spec M2 just check out the link below in the description and as always if you have any questions just ask below and I will definitely get back to you. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.